Hello and welcome back. I know I've been missing for a while. It's been two weeks, I think, since I uploaded my last video and I'm in London. If you're new to my channel, I'm Deirdre and for the next month, this is all going to be about travel and where I am and what I've been doing. I spent the week before I left, it was pretty well tied up with all of those sort of last minute things. Plus my little grand kitty, who some of you might have seen in previous videos, had a bad fall and needed surgery on his little broken foot, paw, sorry, paw, hand, it all sort of intermingles a bit. So Aslan is now fine, he's all patched up, he's had surgery and he's in the recuperation phase. So I finally got myself packed, over, packed of course, and left on the Tuesday Melbourne time uh, and arrived here in London on Wednesday late afternoon so today is Sunday and I've had the best time I'm being treated so well I'm, I'm just loving this it's it's wonderful so how was the flight the flight was great there was just too much of it I think I'm tempted to break it next time perhaps go with a different airline I could go perhaps go with Korean airline and break it in Seoul on the way and that might be might be better to actually have some time on the ground in in the middle or I could break it in Singapore and see family and that would be lovely as well but this time I didn't I just went straight through and uh, so I had about 23 hours in the air straight well 23 hours in the air with two lots of two breaks an hour in Singapore and three hours in Dubai and really it doesn't give you a lot of time on the ground to get your body back to being normal so it's it's a long way and it takes a lot of time it was a good flight though and I enjoyed myself. Now what did I learn? Lesson number one, I overpacked. And it doesn't matter about the big bag so much, but I should have also checked in my smaller duffel bag that I took on as a, a carry-on. I really didn't need it at all and it was just something to carry around. So on the way back, I will definitely check that in and just use my handbag tote to carry things and that will be fine, quite heavy enough. So that's a definite, try to reduce to only one if you possibly can. Uh, what else? I've got a list. I mean, my brain is just, my brain is foggy. Oh yes, it was incredibly hot on the league going into Singapore. I'm not sure why, but it was like gaspingly hot. So I suppose they were wanting us to sleep. I don't know, but I just had a t-shirt on, but it was too heavy. So next time I'm going to wear a thinner t-shirt out and have the layers to put on in the airport. And, and if it gets cold, cool, have a scarf to wrap around me if I get cold. But Really wasn't a chance of that. It was way too hot. That was sort of lesson number two. I flew business class, which is lovely. You know, you lie flat in your bed, you can rest, you can sleep. The food is well and truly edible, which is lovely. I think airline food generally is better than it used to be. And the only thing is that they do pour champagne rather liberally, and I could certainly have done without that. Probably didn't help the fact, you know, that my, despite compression, tights um, my legs did get a bit puffy well actually got very puffy but anyway so I shouldn't really drink champagne on flights I'm not talking about fall down drunk but champagne is very tempting and now I'm in London and London oh what can I say I love it I absolutely love it I've only been here once before and it was with children and it's a very different experience then and I will do the things that I did with them as well like the Natural History Museum and oh, the muse wonderful museums and the walking and, and just looking but as a as a free spirit and just with a friend it's been amazing and I've had the most wonderful time I haven't spent a lot of money yet I don't say yet because I'm not going to but I might have made a couple of little purchases so I went to Whistles and I bought myself a really really cute t-shirt so cute t-shirt number one sort of a sweatshirt really light sweatshirt and I might have bought a really light cotton t-shirt as well with rouge rouge to go with my lovely shoes my boots my red boots I wore them all out last night and it was so nice it was fun so why does London feel so familiar I grew up listening to BBC radio I mean as well as New Zealand radio obviously but we used to have a lot of the BBC series and then television was BBC, a lot of BBC television, as well as New Zealand content. Less of the American style. And so it was all filmed in the UK and I sort of absorbed the, the style and you know you can just recognize places, obviously. And then another thing that I do is I've always read a lot of British writers. And so when they describe the environment, it's often London and it's very very familiar 
but I don't know my way around. So it's a funny juxtaposition. I have to keep sort of thinking, okay, don't get overconfident, girl, because you actually don't know where you are. Uh, and I could wander off into dark and grim places. But having said that, everybody I have met has been so, well, they've all been friendly, helpful, non-aggressive. Look, I'm, I'm pretty street smart, to be fair. I mean, if I see groups that look a bit scary, I become invisible as I drift past. I've been using the tube, which I just love. Who, who couldn't love the tube? You know, you walk a few hundred metres, you go down the escalators, like, whew, long way down, really deep, 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 deep. And then you get on these wonderful fast trains that just whisk you into the centre of the city or off to somewhere else where you can make a connection and to another part of the town. I love the tube. Subway, if you're American. And that's been fabulous. What else? Um, what am I thinking of? Oh, yesterday. Yesterday we spent the day walking on Hampstead Heath, which is a short walk from the beautiful apartment I'm in. Gorgeous, new, everything's bright and fresh and clean. It's gorgeous. And so we walked up to Hampstead Heath and just everywhere, children, families, dogs, more dogs than I've ever seen in my life. There is a dog swimming pool, pond. There's a pond, that's the dog pond. Number one pond is for dogs. So all of these dogs out in the mud, and the, they're filthy, they go, and then bam, into the pond and have a swim and they come out relatively clean, have a good shake and off they go home. So they have the swimming pond for the dogs, there's another swimming pond that's for men, then, then tucked away in the corner, surrounded by trees, of course for privacy, is the ladies swimming pond. I mean, how fabulous is that? So I wish it was warmer. I would definitely go swimming in the ladies' swimming pond, at least paddling. So we walked surrounded by, you know, happy people, children everywhere, um, whole families and more dogs, 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 every sort of dog, small dogs, fluffy dogs, skinny dogs, hairy dogs, lurchers and Pomeranians and British bulldogs and little French bulldogs and, and mixies of all sorts. And it was fabulous. There's a bird sanctuary pond and there were herons and Canadian geese. It was a glorious day, out in the sunshine and just the joy of spring. So I was really enjoying I really loved that. And then went out to a local really lovely pub. I love this life. I could live here so easily. It's a bit scary. And what will I be doing during the next week? Well, mainly I think just more of the same. I want There are some shops I want to go to. I want to go to the British Museum and the British Library and the Natural History Museum. I'm going to go to the zoo. We're going to go to Kew Gardens. We're going to do the sites, which is always fun. And also just a bit of shopping. I mean, well, at least going into the shops that I, I really would like to go to, like and other stories and uh, go back to whistles and just having a good browse. Plus, I'm going to start doing a few things with the apartment here, which is lovely, but it's just that they have been so busy, and like so many of us, when you're very busy, it's hard to spend time decorating and getting the place looking just the way you want it. So if you'd like to see more of what I'll be doing while I'm here in London, then please subscribe and follow along and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this sort of video, and I will be back to show you what I've been up to and let you catch up with what I've been doing middle of the week. And I hope that whatever you're doing, you're having a lovely time. And I will see you soon. Bye.